All right, guys. So we are in the backyard. Back there is my cousin's former living area. That was her house. Uh, Hurricane Michael tore up some stuff. So that's actually set for demo. They gotta come in here and tear all that stuff out. Anyway, thought I was good and. Start doing some more stuff outdoors. Um, I've had comments that they wish that I'd get back to prepping videos. Currently, we are still heading to Wyoming. We just stopped here for a few months, and then we're going to head again. So, kind of hard to do much prepping videos as far as um, weekly prep pickups on food and things like that. Because, frankly, I had to give up a lot of food for the weight limit on that trailer. So, I don't see it feasible to go drop several more hundred dollars on food I'm just going to get rid of again for travel. So, let's go outside and let's go ahead and look for some cordage. Alright, now one of the oldest way for cordage is strip saplings and braid the um, inner bark for your cordage. Okay, to make rope. A lot of things people forget is that there is a lot of vines that grow. They're very stout. They're a lot easier to braid, and you get quite a bit of cordage from them with less amount of work. So let's go ahead and dig around and find some. Here we go. See this? Besides that big old bumblebee there. All these yellow flowers. That's this vine. There's actually multiple vines. So, let's go ahead and start pulling, and then we'll strip it down, and we'll start braiding, and we'll see what we can uh, put together there. Alright guys, so we got ourselves a handful of this vine. Now, this is not the best tool for the job, but that's my newest one. This is... Uh, a Christmas gift from my brother. Damascus steel blade. It's actually a Damascus Bowie blade. And it's not the correct. I mean, you don't need something this big to trim something like that. But that is what I had on me. So that's what I'd be playing with. I'm a knife guy. I like I like blades. And this was a nice little gift my brother got me. He actually got it for me uh, two Christmases ago. And I just now got it last week. So, I like my blades. So, yeah, I'm just going through. I'm not worried about knots. You start trimming those knots, you start messing with the integrity of the vine. But you actually get a lot of cordage out of these. I just worry about the splits right here. And I just go ahead and cut those off and keep the main part of the vine. Now be careful if you're new to the outdoors when you're looking for vines. Alright, like I said, this is much easier than stripping trees. Um, now if you are going to be stripping trees in a survival situation, hey, do what you got to do. I will tell you if you start stripping saplings and you leave the sapling behind, it does not grow back you will kill that thing but in a survival situation you do what you got to do okay so I, I just go for the vines they're a lot easier to work with uh, if the vine is too stiff soak it in water there's a creek nearby something like that just leave it in there for a while and uh, it'll be a little bit more easier to work with now as far as identifying vines hopefully you stay away from the poisonous uh, skin rash vines and yeah there are some uh, neighbors over that way population guys population never seem to get away from it but when I get to Wyoming I will I will definitely be getting away from a lot of population now I don't skin this off. I just leave it the way it is, guys. It's just for cordage, okay? 
So let me get back to work and I'll finish doing the rest of this. Alright guys, so once you got your vine stripped down, i got three of them here. I usually just take the ends, put them close together. It doesn't have to be dead on, but you want to try to get as much cordage as you can. And I'll loop back and attempt here in a second. Put just a basic knot in here just to hold it. All right. Now, with that being done, now I'll start braiding. All right, you just have to step on the end and braid it all the way out. Alright guys, so we had to come inside. It is dark outside, but I want to finish making the cordage there. You know, it's not perfectly straight because it is fine. Uh, stout. It is very stout. Now you can see it is stiff. I mean it is. You can roll it up. You can't tie a knot with it, but for the best use and um, make this more pliable. It's always best to soak these in water. I've seen people use hot water boiling water. They boil them. Uh, it makes it more limber so it's easier to use. Um, personally, I mean any water, creek, whatever, as long as it soaks in for a while. Now if you're going to start soaking them, I definitely recommend skinning them. All right? It just makes it easier to absorb the water and stuff. Uh, but that's that guys so we will start hopefully this weekend get into more um, outdoor survival stuff uh, we do have a location that we can go check out not too far away um, I went and took a look at the backyard little wooded areas back here unfortunately it is a cesspool for mosquitoes and it's basically a swamp all right it's just the ground just holds the water so bad out there but there is another place with a little uh, couple ponds and things like that I like to uh, go over some fishing and things like that survival fishing not with a fishing pole actual all you have is what you got and what you can make so anyway guys we'll catch y'all later <laughs>